14th century Padua, European hub for art, architecture, and the earliest written reference to the harpsichord. Stop! Wait a minute. What on earth is a harpsichord? And how did it come to exist? It all started in medieval times. Did you harpsy that one coming? Back then, everything about music making was different. There existed two main categories for instruments to belong in. The O category, meaning loud, were instruments that could be played outside, whereas the Ba category, meaning soft, were designed to be played indoors. However, by the 14th century, everything was changing all the time. Castles and churches were being built bigger, using stone, which simply ate up the sound, which increased the demand for indoor instruments to be louder. Serendipitously, advances in clockwork provided possibilities for musical instruments to evolve. Thus, the dulcimer got a serious technological upgrade. I mean, super cool. Thus, this new amplified keyboard instrument became a central part of music making and a precursor to the modern day piano. 